Gentlemen, welcome back to the neon sign T. Shanley. Starting a business, building a brand blog. This one, big number 152. Give you a little shot. Everybody wave. <laughs> Apparently they're all quiet, but we're gonna jam this camera in their face because I'm in Chicago at the most handsome place in the world, T.J. Hanley headquarters. Um, introduce you to everybody once again, and then gonna sort of take you on a tour. I haven't actually been to the new sort of space next door where they do all the fulfillment, but I want to take you guys in there, show you that, and then just answer some of your questions and just kind of have a casual sort of fun vlog. First up is Josh. Hi. I, I do digital marketing for T. Shanley, if you don't know already. And uh, I mainly run, I run our YouTube channel, our Instagram, all the ads that are associated with both of those, and then all of our influencer marketing. Do you want to encourage them to like us on Facebook? If you don't like us on Facebook or follow us on Instagram or subscribe on YouTube, I, I, you know, I don't know what you're doing. Josh. Hi. <laughs> I'm Lauren, uh, also on the digital marketing team. I manage Tija's retention program, so um, we've got a lot of fun things coming down the pipeline, like um, a loyalty program, which I don't know if I can say, but... You can say it. Uh, okay, then we've got a loyalty program coming. That'll be a, a big project for us in Q4. Awesome. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? I'm a little tired. <laughs> Just flew in. Hi, guys. Cindy Nelson, brand manager. Uh, my biggest moment of excitement was, uh... Hi, I'm Claudia. I'm a customer service specialist, so I'm answering all of your questions right now at this moment. What's the number one question you get most often? Answer it now. Ooh, uh, where is my order? Everyone's really eager for, to get their Teach Hanley, so that's usually the one I get the most. And what is the answer? The answer is, it really depends on where you're at. If you're in, uh, the U.S., it's gonna take three to five days. If you're outside, it's gonna take about two to four weeks. But, uh, it'll come to you. Cool. What up? How's it going guys? I'm Tom. I'm the customer service supervisor. I supervise all the things that Claudia says uh, and answer them myself. Uh, we're actually really excited because we just launched something brand new with our Teach customer service. We now have a live chat. So if you guys ever have any questions for us, you can just go to the website and chat with one of us and we'll be here to answer that for you. Cool. Good morning, my name is Dave. I'm the supply chain manager. My job is to make sure our supplies get here on time and in good order. Make sure everything's on time is a key element to making sure you get your product in the right time in the right place. Are you being successful? We are being very successful. That's good. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to go next door and check out Josh. You want to take me over? Sure. All right, Josh is going to take us over, then we'll come back, give you a little tour because the space looks very different than last time you were here. I mean, we got a conference room, it's all glassed in, it's pretty cool. So, now, across the hall, we have... Tej Production. Tej Production. And it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> They're using, like, equipment, I think. I can hear it. They're testing out the forklift. We got a forklift? Yeah. Tommy just said, hold on. So. Yo! Gentlemen. Who are you? My name is Tom. I am the warehouse supervisor here at Teach Hanley. Oh my this, gosh. This is, this is Matt. He's our fulfillment specialist. What's up, dudes? How you doing today? And what are we doing? Well, meet our new friend. This is Greg. <laughs> Greg is a pallet lift and we just tested Greg's lifting capacity and determined that he can really go all the way up 137 inches. That's over 11 feet high, fellas. And uh, this floor space looks kind of empty right now, but come October 20th, we're going to have 88 pallet storage capacity with 11 gigantic industrial shelves, kind of like that drawing right there. This is the new, soon to be laid out area, correct? That's right. All right, cool. Over here is the future site of the Tiege Lounge, including the old school wall graphic from the original Tiege HQ. Uh, and everybody loves a kitchen. <laughs> 
this is this is taking a turn for the for the not super interesting. All right, so here we go. Over here we've got all Tej Hanley. Whoa, tons of Tej, tons of Tej, tons of Tej Hanley. And that is, or all of that is, is prepackaged Tej Hanley. Um, this won't last that long. Our our inventory and our orders that are going out every single day is just. It's, it's pretty incredible, and so if we came back here tomorrow, this would look very, very bare. And so we are sort of just still figuring out what the best like system is for, for pre-packaging, how much we need. It's a, it's a constant sort of tidal wave. The business like T. Shanley, the fact that it's a subscription, it's this rolling tidal wave of inventory requirements, and it's constantly growing. As we grow, the amount of subscribers that we have each month is growing, and so it's just this number that just keeps on growing and getting larger. And so it, it's amazing because T. Shanley is growing so fast and so well, but it's also a little bit, you know, tricky because you've got to figure out logistically, and there's just a lot that goes into fulfilling this many orders like every single day. And Josh has something super cool. Come yes. on in, Josh. So what we've been doing lately is we want to make sure that people feel like they're, you know, part of our family and that we appreciate their business because we obviously do. And so uh, we, we pack special boxes now, and let me just open one really fast. And on Fridays, we, we all fill out um, thank you cards. So here's a, a handwritten thank you card. It just said, it's from Cindy. It says, welcome to the Tiege team. Thank you for joining. And uh, if you're a first time customer, you now get a handwritten card for the most part. We, we haven't gotten 100%, but the most of the boxes going out now get it. If you, if it's We're working time. on it. We're working, but that's just something, you know, it's, it's, it just shows you how important you are to us. I mean, we acknowledge and recognize that, you know, you're taking a chance, you're trying something new, and we just want you to know, each and every one of you, how incredibly important you are and special. Unfortunately, we didn't start doing this. Whose idea was it? Uh, it was, I think, Lauren's idea. And uh, we have a few other things that we, we're gonna be, be trying for just rewarding customers, you know, especially more repeat customers. We have some ideas that we're, we'll, we'll hopefully be putting into the works. Um, I mean, in a perfect world, we'd be including a thank you card in every box yeah. uh, because we just, <laughs> it, it, there's just way too many uh, at this point. To, to, Can we outsource that? We're going to outsource <laughs> thank you cards. No, 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 no. <laughs> Our team, literally, I'm kidding. I'm including, kidding. including Kelly, will sit down at a table on Fridays and handwrite all these thank you cards. So uh, we, we just want to show how much we appreciate you guys. So. That is pretty awesome. Now, speaking of awesome, let's go back over next door and show you sort of the layout and the situation we got going on at Tiege headquarters. All right. <laughs> we, we I gotta try it, right? We I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay. We literally just charged this up and this morning is the first time we're operating this piece of heavy equipment. Um, to up. lower it, pull it all the way down, yep. and to raise it, push it all the way forward. This is all you really need to mess with. Got it. Uh, let's give it a try. Woo. Oh yeah. Yeah? How am I doing? Now. Good? Good? Yeah. Am I good? Yeah. All right, wait. Oh, yeah. that's the sound. That's the sound, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. Look at this is pretty sweet. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna just take you sort of around on a quick tour, show you the place. It's been a while since we've been here. It's been actually four months since I've been here. And, or no, three months, four, three months. Anyway, like before, we've got basically our mission statement on, on the wall. It says, we believe in helping men look and feel amazing. And then we've got a lot of other core principles up on the wall because this business once I mean, we can't say it enough. This literally is all about you. Um, and it's just, it's, it's amazing, you know, what sort of happened and all of the emails, all of the guys that come up to us and are like, yo, this stuff really works. Um, speaking of working, check out that sign. That is, that is, that is so cool. <laughs> I want one for my house. <laughs> That's awesome. Josh, you want to give us a little bit more of a tour? Yeah. So we've got these new like huddle meeting spaces that are almost finished. We're just waiting for some cushions to come in. But this can seat like what? Six, eight people. And so the idea is because this is such a, let me adjust this, 
such a big open space, it's kind of tough to have private conversations. And so the idea is that this huddle room, the fact that it's wrapped in this like felt, it really absorbs, and you probably can hear, right? When I get in here, the audio is much different than when I'm out here. And um, it's just a cool little getaway where people can come have a conversation or talk on the phone. There's also another one across the room. A little bit smaller. Seat up to six probably. Cool. So, and then conference room. Um, I don't know if they saw it. When you were here last, it didn't have glass, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we've got a TV and we have Flowers that are delivered every every week. Kelly loves flowers. This this was probably the most exciting thing for our meetings. This is our new conference speaker. Uh, Aaron, you could probably attest to the fact. Let me tell you something. There is nothing worse than having a Tej Hanley conference call when you're on, you know, when you're hundreds of miles away because it is hard to hear. It's very difficult to sort of, it, it sucks. But that thing definitely has, has come in handy. And then? Uh, we can go up top now. Cool. So we gotta go up these stairs first though. <laughs> But yeah, we call this the, uh, uh, it's, it's really lame, but we call it the Ottoman Empire. Because <laughs> there's, there's, there's like Ottomans, 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 Ottomans everywhere. And then there is a table, and uh, Lauren is known for coming up here a lot, and also Kelly will come up here to uh, escape the rest of us. Um, it's warmer up there. Now, gentlemen, what I thought we would do is actually answer some of your business-related questions from last time, because we had a bunch, and some of them are pretty awesome. All right, gentlemen, let's get to some of your questions. Josh, first one. Uh, it's from Amanda, and uh, her question is... Is this a woman? Yeah. It's one of the 1% who watch our vlogs. We, we, <laughs> oh my god, this is our first female question. Okay, go for it. Amanda. Is there a reason Aaron posts to YouTube only three days a week, but to his website five days a week? Posting to YouTube gives him many more views. Why doesn't he just post to YouTube every day? Okay, this is a question that I've been asked before. So, for those of you who don't know, I have a website, imalphaM.com. Years ago, I was creating five videos a week that I was posting on I Am Alpha M, and then three of those were going to be that. I need to turn this shit off. <clears throat> so years ago, I used to have a website, or I still have the website, IamAlphaM.com. When I first started IamAlphaM.com, it was a membership-only website where um, I would charge like $5 a month, I would post like 10 things a week, and that was not sustainable just because it was impossible for me to keep up with that workload. And so I'm like, okay, I want to give all this content away for free. But what I was doing back then was I was creating videos that for YouTube were like, I really put my all into them. Well, my website allowed me to post other content that were sort of just like thoughts or ideas that wasn't like really, in my opinion, YouTube worthy. And so over the years, since the free content has sort of been out there and my, my need for posting content on YouTube has increased, the amount of like throwaway videos or sort of like casual alpha videos um, has, has, has dwindled. Now I'm actually posting four days a week on YouTube, uh, but I do have a fifth video that I post on my website only. And it's just something that I, you know, I use that for, for just like, you know, for me to just, you know, maybe announce like the Men Influential Conference or talk about something that I'm dealing with right now. And it's more of a, just a, a, a personal video, not something that I'm necessarily wanting to post on YouTube. The other reason is because the videos that I post on YouTube, they really do need to be pretty good. And I need to be pretty certain that they're going to get good views because my YouTube channel does do a lot of sponsorships. I can't have like a super huge fluctuation of, you know, nobody's interested in this video, and the, but everybody's interested in this video. And so you need to have consistency in order to be appealing to brands. Because if they see, you know, a, a video that only had like 10,000 views, but then other ones have like 200,000, they're going to remember that 10,000, not necessarily the 2,000 and so, or 200,000. So for me, I really try to put out like my best stuff on YouTube, but I'm not saying that I won't ever go to a five day a week schedule. I, I, I currently create five videos a week plus a vlog, so I'm already in the 
in the routine of creating a lot of content, but not all of it at this point is YouTube worthy. But great question, and welcome to the club, Amanda. Next question, Josh. Uh, it's from Thang. Thang. Uh, hi Alpha, thank you for the video. How did you find Dr. Fenton? I would like to start a supplement business and I want to find someone who can help me create a great formula. Thank you. You know, finding, finding a chemist, finding a, a Dr. Fenton, you know, there, there are different ways to go about that. Um, you know, we interviewed a lot of people. You know, we were looking for um, a very specific skill set in terms of a dermatologist. And so, you know, we, we basically were calling on a bunch of different dermatologists and interviewed a bunch of them and ultimately our, our, our vibe gelled and, and we created um, a partnership with Dr. Fenton. You, my friend, starting a supplement business, you don't need a Dr. Fenton. You need somebody who is going to be your chemist, who's going to sort of formulate things. And you can look online and find like um, supplement, you know, laboratories out there that do have chemists on staff that will be happy to help you develop something as long as they get to produce it. Um, and so I would do some internet searches for, for your situation. Um, I also would bring them some ideas to the table or maybe products that you currently like um, or that you'd like to change. That really does help the process and will make their job a lot easier so it won't cost you as much. But good luck and thanks for the question. Next question, Josh. All right, last question. Last question. Uh, from NJ. NJ, what's happening? Uh, hey Aaron, I'm a Danish guy who just recently started my YouTube channel and I want to potentially make a living out of it. Ooh. I do a lot of hair related content and fashion in general, so it's kind of similar to you. Here's my question. Since I don't have a big audience who will find my videos, how would you recommend me growing my channel and, and the most efficient way for my videos to be found by people? And also maybe an idea to stand out and be different from the other existing successful channels like yours, Blue. Got it. Okay, got the question. You are starting a YouTube channel, it's or you have a YouTube channel, you have content, you want to set yourself apart, and you want to know the fastest way to sort of hack the system so that you can grow your channel and get your videos viewed. Um, first thing I would say is the thing that is going to make your videos different is you and your personality. Do not try to copy you know, somebody else's style. Make them unique, make them you. And if you do that, you're gonna find an audience that totally like buys in 100% and loves you. Um, it's sort of, you know, there are a lot of like men's lifestyle influencers out there that, you know, and I'm not, you know, naming any names, but you can tell when they've had influence from me or, you know, some other people because the style, the jump cut, like it, 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 it looks kind of like Alpha M light or whatever. And I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying that is a fact. And so I would say be you, do you as they say, and I think that's going to be the most powerful and important factor to you doing this long term and having it sort of have legs because if you try to put on an act if you try and put on a facade people can see through that the best thing i ever did was i dropped like acting like i thought people wanted me to act and just sort of was me and and that was the most powerful thing for me now in terms of hacking the system and how to grow your channel what i would recommend doing and this is kind of like a, 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 a YouTube hack is look at other people that are doing similar content to the content you want to do. Look at, you know, me or Dre Drexler or Blue Mon or Slick Hair or whomever and look at their popular videos in the genre that, that you're interested in creating content and then make your version of that like hairstyle tutorial or if it's tips or whatever it is, make your version. That's going to basically let you know that, okay, people are interested in watching this video or this topic and that will help you sort of develop an audience maybe faster than you just putting out an article like how to you know twirl your hair because you like twirling your hair when you need to figure out if people actually care about hair twir twirling. But uh, that would be my answer. What do you think, Josh? Uh, a couple more. Uh, Josh has a couple more. What are they? Well, no, like in terms of advice. Yeah, um, Josh's advice. Josh has a YouTube channel called Tour Bus. What is it? Digital, Digital Tour, Tour Bus, where he actually goes on the tour buses of all these like artists and, and musicians and sort of just interviews them. And it's really sort of creative, it's clever, and <laughs> I don't know why they let you on their bus, <laughs> but I'm kidding. So there's, there's a couple of things um, that a lot of beginners. Yeah, a lot of beginners, uh, 
let me restart that. So there's a couple things that uh, a lot of beginners on YouTube don't do. And so they, they spend all this time creating awesome content. And then when it comes time to posting it, they don't uh, do a couple things. They don't focus, they don't create a great thumbnail. That's, that's something I definitely did back in the day. Um, you have to make sure that people can recognize that uh, there has to be some sort of branding element in your thumbnail. Uh, if you notice on Aaron's videos, he uses uh, orange and white and black a lot. And so people know him for those three colors. Um, and then he always has a My gray background. Yeah, the gray background as well. And then also a, 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 it, it's really important to have, if, if there is a person in the video, to have their face be prominent. Um, people uh, are more comfortable clicking on other people and their faces. And so thumbnail is the first introduction to a video that someone has. And so making sure that that is completely up to par is is going to set yourself up for success because if YouTube, if you post a video with a, a crappy thumbnail and it gets crappy clicks within the first hour, first 24 hours, YouTube will stop promoting that video. So it's very important to do so. Um, and Aaron's getting a call. What the hell? Uh, and, uh, and, and then just make sure that you're not uh, ignoring some of the small things. Uh, when you're just starting out, things like tags and a, a great description are, are really, really important. When you get to Aaron's size, they're not as important. Um, and then, you know, try to make your content easy to find. Playlists are a great way to do that. Organize your content. If you have a lot of hair videos, put all those hair videos into um, a playlist that you put in your description or as a card in your video. Help people find your content. So that, that, those would be my recommendations. You should have just answered the question. That was better than mine. <laughs> no, no. I mean, <laughs> there's a reason why you have four and a half million subscribers and Digital Tour Bus has 125,000. Different demo, different know, demo. Gentlemen, that's it. Um, I just got to Chicago. First thing was like, okay, I gotta film this vlog. I wanna take everybody around. Because what typically has been happening when I come here, it's all like, you know, it, 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 there's so many meetings and and we're running late on this and, and everything is so like regimented and scheduled that, you know, filming the vlog is kind of like an afterthought. And so I just wanted to do a good job of sort of giving you a quick up to date sort of, you know, run around and, and just have a little bit of fun. If, if it seemed flustered and all over the place, it's because I'm a little flustered and all over the place. But um, that's it. We're going to kick some ass and hopefully figure out ways to help you even more than we already do. Guys, thank you so much. If you've got any amazing business questions or even a crappy business question, down in the comments, let me know. Start it with business question, all in caps, and next week we will be definitely getting to some more. Guys, thank you so much. And as always, we love you more than our double monk strap shoes.